The following is a clip from the highly acclaimed educational radio program, The White Riot Show. Like, I don't know if you're in the mood for it. The only thing of what you said that I disagree with is the abortion issue. Why? Because. What's what's the argument uh, for uh, gover- uh, government uh, being involved? Oh, government shouldn't be involved. I agree with but you. But it's up to the but, women and whoever well, knocked her up. Here's here's why I disagree with only that. By the way, I agree with everything you said up until the abortion part. Right. The reason I digress with you on the abortion part, and it's not religious or anything, is at what stage is that kid an individual with rights? That's but, the only question yeah, I have. Well, it's impossible to know. So you have, to, in my opinion, when you don't know, you have to err on the side of being cautious, not being aggressive. No, you have to. That's let, in my you, opinion. No, you have to let the woman. You have to let the individual just handle it and decide, and they have to deal with it in the privacy of their own morality and, and their own conscience. That's it. If they can deal with whatever their decision is, then it's on them. Uh, yeah. Again, it's so not, like I don't interfere in people's. It's not affairs. the morality. No, it's not the morality of that person. In other words, I don't give credence to the fact that the woman is suffering because she's the one carrying the kid. Because, look, it's nobody's fault. It's no politician's fault. Well, it's no say, government's fault. No, no, I, no, I, I didn't I, say suffering, but I mean forced to carry, whatever you want to say. It's because, look, nature made you the carrier of, of the next generation. I'm sorry, women. I didn't choose that. I didn't vote on that. You didn't vote on that. That's the way nature is. You carry the kid. So the argument that, oh, they're suffering, they're the ones carrying the kid, they're the ones that have to carry the kid for nine months... That doesn't wash with me. That's that's just the way existence is. Take it up with wh- whoever or whatever you believe created existence. I couldn't give a shit about that. The question for me is always going to be, when does that individual that's growing in the womb have its own individual rights? As a citizen of the United States, wow. when does it acquire rights? Now, up until now, it's always been a decision based on science. The viability mm. issue. At mm. what point could this kid survive outside the womb? So at one point it was 38 weeks or whatever it was. Don't now know. it's pushed back to 20, basically, because mm. now that's what science says has a reasonable shot of surviving outside the womb is at 20 weeks. Yeah. So when you see this line sliding back and forth simply as the result of the latest scientific discovery, mm. my own mind, and again, I'm not trying to convince anyone, but my own, well, I guess I am, but I'm not trying to force it on anyone is... In my own mind, in those cases, you can't be aggressive. You have to err on the side of caution. The same way that if someone said to me, well, we don't know if this person in a coma is f- feels pain or not, right? Yeah. You would have to err on the side of caution to say, but that's assume already, they're in the pain. Pain, But that's already a person person. That person's already been alive. They're, well, that's they're the out qu- there outside right. the womb. They've already had their life to whatever age they are. I mean, that's that's a different issue. But it's similar in the sense that even though they're not able to talk to you, they're not able to have a conscious Um, discussion with you or make a conscious decision, that we recognize them as individuals. That's all the point I'm making. Whether you believe in euthanasia, whether you think it's merciful or not, I'm not even addressing those issues. I'm just saying, in that case, we recognize that's an individual. It may be someone in a coma. It's an individual. So to me, that's the only question I have. At what point is that fetus considered an individual? And to me, if science gives us a definitive answer, like, say, for the sake of argument, and again, don't take me literally because it's not a religious point, but whenever the soul enters the the baby, and I use that just for a point of viability, then if science could tell us exactly when that is, I would say, great, have as many abortions as you want prior to that. But since we can't, to me, it's... Yeah, but they're never going to nail that down. Oh, I I understood. maybe maybe they will. Or maybe they will or whatever. Join us every week at www.whiteriotshow.com to follow the latest exploits of Big Fat John and Judo Larry M. This is Mark, the man with the golden voice. And I'm not wearing any pants. Whoa.